It's a Mr. Beast time. And this time we're going to dig very deep into the abandoned places of Mr. Beast. You know, like where nobody watches his videos. We're going to go that deep. Last time we were drilling into Mr. Beast, we're going to drill the other way around. We're going to check his origin story and every single move that matters that we he went through as a kid. His attitude, his principles kind of like stem from that place. And every change and every decision he has made that far. All right. Also, I'll compare it quickly with Unspeakable, because that's always cool. Under this wood is a floor. Only one way. No, there's there's no one way to find out. We have to delete Mark Rober from this video already. What the fuck is he doing in abandoned place? We don't need scientists. We need doctors, bro. This is crazy. I feel like I'm in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> No, you just next to Mark Rober. That's the whole vibe. I think this is where we should set up camp. You should try and set it away from Mark Rober, bro. Holy shit, man. Which made us start to wonder if we were really alone inside this city. What was it? No, you're not alone. You're with Mark Rober. Soccer ball is older than me. Me older than all of us, for sure. Well, besides Mark, he's old. <laughs> we have two... two yeah, like, why are you hanging out with a fucking old man that nobody likes? An idea to get it down from the roof more effectively, but... Yeah, Mark Rober is a little bitch, and this is proof. Full seven days. <laughs> Genuinely, I would be scared if we left Jimmy with anybody other than you. I Aww, think you got it. you guys. That's appreciation? No. It's just this guy belongs in an abandoned fucking city. This is uh not special to me. I'm surviving every fucking day. It's very difficult. Someone always splashes the amount of sanity that I have down to the ground because they think they they can handle it. They're so smart. That's why I hate Mark Rober. I've seen it too many times. Oh, is that satisfying? And, and... No, not really. I think Mr. Beast videos are pretty boring. <laughs> what the heck? You swore! So, turns out Mark was pranking us, and he was- Man, Mark Rober is a little bitch, I swear. It's unbelievable. It's the one dropping drop bottle. bottle. He's like the David Dobrik of- YouTubers, you know, that hang out with Mr. Beast. Freak everyone out. Oh my gosh. I thought I could trust you. Okay, Mr. Beast is also a little bit stupid if, if he just said that. Freedom! Huge shout out to Mark! He didn't have to do this, he has his own channel. He has, he has its own channel and he can fuck off. He should have his own platform instead of using YouTube. Really? Really, he also uploads at the same day? Disgusting. You know what's so good about unspeakable videos? There's no Mark Rober. It's crazy, man. How much better it is. It's snowy! 1,000 miles! We did it! Man, I hate these bus videos. It's the worst. Why does he get stuck on the bus so often, bro? Well, at least he fed an ostrich. That's the only thing that was entertaining. It's almost an ostrich. And that is the finger hungry ostrich. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get you some of that. <laughs> Does it hurt? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come here. Get you some of that, boy. <laughs> As promised, we're gonna go uh, dive into Mr. Beast history, the oldest videos, and we're gonna scrape all of this Minecraft content, then Pokemon content, then the zombie content, bro. Yeah. That shit's relevant. Then we're gonna skip the Black Ops because fuck that shit. It's absolute garbage. So I'm gonna fry my brains.
And uh, until we hit something sensible, you know, that perfect hit point, how much does PewDiePie make? Hmm. Thanks for asking. Yeah, we have to go through all of that. It's not that difficult. These are like two minute videos. Uh, Mr. Beast wants to be very short about it, it seems. Maybe we're going to learn something from Narcissism 101. Before we dive in, I want to just warm up with a few TikTok reactions, boy. In elections in Russia. Yeah, and she doesn't find any Putin propaganda, it seems. Oh, he's going to step down quietly. We'll see, man. It's, it's a big deal. I mean, he finally went savage, and uh, Russians kind of have to let that person go and into the wilds. This is going to be a hard pill for many men to swallow. But the fact of the matter is that everything that you've ever done for a woman is irrelevant. And then he says it's gone. I mean, in with female and male relationships, you have to tease the other person and not give them what they want. No matter what, in fact, just not give them. That's the survival of the fittest moments. Because a lot of people want to make you survive for them. They take free resources from you, especially women. You know, they're very intimidating if you don't fucking notice. But um, of how they fucking rip resources away from you. They demand a lot of things. They demand you to be socially acceptable. And that's a whole nother package. And when you get to that level, they demand you to be rich and independent and powerful and all that shit. And it's like, isn't, is that too much? Because you don't like have a skill. You're just like pretty and stuff. How are some of y'all going around living life not caring what people think about you? So this is something that I always used to struggle with as well. And I think naturally in society we're made to seem like we should care what other people think. But here's something that really helped me. And I think it will help you too. Something I realized when I was thinking about somebody else's opinion of me is that that opinion was in my mind. Yeah, I mean, I bumped into this before and uh, the same advice of like, oh, I'm aware now and... That opinion is in my head. I'm creating it. I'm the first one. I'm doing a, that person a service. I'm creating an opinion for them. Yeah, sure. Hopefully you're not rejecting people. If you genuinely care what people think, you can ask. You can just ask. You know, that's the, the superpower that you have of actually asking, actually being curious and honest. If, like, you're worried what people think about you, that's it. Otherwise, they might tell you when they don't like you. Otherwise, what they think about you is, is kind of irrelevant because it doesn't come out of their mouths anyways. So, whatever. I don't care what he has to say. I just said my piece. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're on public transport, you're on a train, you're on the bus, whatever, and you have a ticket and there's an inspection going, Take Apparently, somewhere public transport is expensive. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how nice he is. Uh, but I'm not so nice. I just know that the perfect, you know, weapon against authorities is wasting their time. If they get very pissed off and they destroy themselves by getting pissed off that you're wasting their time. It's just like how it goes and you get a lot of power from that if you feel there's any reason whatsoever to waste authority's time you can do it and get away with that and it's just something they cannot stop they just like completely powerless in that shit if there's one thing that you need to learn right now that you need to start doing right now to become a completely un like even my mom called police right like police arrives and it's like oh we we can't really find anything. Why are we here, right? Like, this sort of mentality that they pissed off. Why did I come here? There's nothing to do. 
there's sort of this mentality going on and it's like you have authority that's it and if you follow too many rules you don't i quite have authority just a bouncing ball just going from one place to the other looking for things to do that appeal to your rule set of things that you can find it's absolute fucking nonsense and at some point like authorities uh, will realize that when we piss them off mm. fuckable version of yourself this is it and don't get me wrong this isn't going to be easy this will be difficult it will be hard to do but when you get this down it is genuinely like being a superhero so here's what you have to do you have to learn to be able to zoom out of your life to be able to take a bigger picture of your life you need to be able to put perspective into everything you think and do because you may feel dumb when you're learning new things but you're actually becoming smarter when you're working out you may feel weak but your body is actually getting stronger invest this yeah self-improvement is so cool nice mate what do you not get about this i just i just what does a cryptocurrency do I just told you it's a decentralized currency that you can buy anything with without the government. Okay, understood. But I've never heard of anyone anywhere at any point using cryptocurrency to actually buy anything, except for that one guy who like bought a. Yeah, I'm still like completely mesmerized how people just jumped in on board on crypto and it's like, oh, hey guys, it's growing and it has value and. You can mine it and all that shit, and it, it has no purpose, though. There's no purpose. There's no actual value. People just sitting on some numbers on the digital world and, like, sure. Whatever. I can create a card game and it's going to have more value. Because you can, like, print it out. And the card might have value because you print it in a certain fucking way or whatever. You follow certain, certain rules. You can, you might be able to make your own money. You know, you might be the bank and start printing money. But shit has to like exist in a physical form, just like you have to have physical conversations for conversations to work. You have to physically go to a workplace to get a fucking job. You have to do everything physically, or you have to at least intimidate the per the person that you're dealing with to some extent, because everyone on the internet are fucking assholes. Because they're so far away from you, you can't do nothing, you can't touch them. It's like, wow, how cool is that? Anyways, a little bit of warm-up. I think it's necessary to warm my brain up a little bit. So, um, I have no idea what this means. What this uh -huh. first video means. But Mr. Beast is a, in a survival situation where he gets to choose whenever to open the gates and he doesn't take any damage because... Apparently, that's how he wanted it to be invincible and to never be in danger. Even attacked villagers? Not my own friends. No. I can't do it. I can't kill them. Not Caleb. Not Toddler. Oh, well, he's not really my best friend. This is Dylan. I could care less. Sorry, Caleb, but I'm gonna have to kill you. Must get. Wow. He attacked his own friends. Continue on the salt trap. Fucking soul trap. Well, wow. hopefully I don't explode. I killed all of them. Mm -hmm. Wow. Super hard. What? What? Okay, nothing. Thinks I'm an idiot. Wait, no, no. Oh. Whoa. Ah! I almost. You don't have a health bar. Holy shit. How does he. How does he fucking do that? So, when will he get a health bar? Episode 7? I just, I just started. Oh, you found a mod. Started a new world and it got messed over. But... but... Wow, he already uh, goes into copyrighted territory of Harry Potter. You have the... You have the...
and explains everything about the mod as if I care, but whatever. Man, Quidditch is also the most degenerate thing ever that I don't want anyone to have any deals with. Different color jerseys and headbands and ooh, it would just be so much fun. I can't imagine how fun this would be. I, I'm going to try it soon. No, it's not going to be fun. Mod and... and even back in the day, like, Minecraft was not that fucking laggy. I don't know on what kind of toaster he's playing right I now. I think that block, that block right, right there is... Let's watch one of my old videos. Like, that I had a better computer than, uh, Mr. fucking Mr. Okay. B. Okay. Origin is about it. Since he's there. I mean, we're in AdventureCraft, a laggy game by default, bro. But like, you see, I when you see this trade, bro, like, what is he recording with? And all you have, all to, you do have to do is put, put on, on jerseys, jerseys if you have more than one person. Per How did he not notice that, by the way? It would be so no, it wouldn't be so much fun when you have to have ridiculous rendering distance and everything fucking lags. Where you don't even notice how lag it is on the video. See items mod. So, it makes like your pickaxes and all your items boxy. If you... And this guy is uh, memeing really hard. There's some kind of fucking brain damage, I can tell, bro. Print. Yeah, because Minecraft was not boxy enough, you know, like, there's some kind of, like, he gets drawn into the game and, like, that's whatever he thinks he wants to, like, manifest in fucking boxy rooms. Like, oh, that's how I feel I'm in Minecraft. No, it hurts. That's basically it. Short video, straight to the point, boxy item. Yeah, but it's boring. Because there is no point. It's just some fucking bullshit. This somehow? I don't know, but... Rank your friends, of course. I don't know, I would really recommend you download this mod. Uh, he's already, like, coming out on YouTube, like, Hey guys, I'm selling you this thing. It's a bunch of bird eggs. Get the fuck out of here, Mr. Beast. I, I might not be able to bully the... Latest level power level, Mr. Beast, even though he's uh, hanging out with fucking Mark Rober, degenerate. But I can definitely uh, criticize this guy from 11 years ago. Let's see how long. I mean, it, it's hard to tell how long you can keep this up, but there's plenty of content. If you want to bully Mr. Beast, you have to bully his inner child that likes peacocks, bro. Fuck off, bro. It's <laughs> I fucking went in for two minutes and just repeated the script twice. Like it's you got two minutes. You don't you don't have to make a one minute script and then repeat it twice. You you can always cut off that minute off technically. The soy. Yeah. So uh, what's going on is like, hey guys, oh my god, you like this. You like this, guys? I have this. Do you like it? Do you like it? I have this. And then he discovered money, eventually. Oh my god, you like this? Because, like, technically it's very close to American culture. Oh my god, you like me? You like me right now? That's the American culture, but Mr. Beast is like, you like this? Oh my god, I can, I can like, give, you can, like, download. You can, like, download some peacocks. That is creepy. There's no sound in this one. It's just like, hey guys, there's a scary Minecraft pig skin. Which is like, what? There's got to be part of the lore of some kinds. What else is in the picture? Why does he like this frame? He still has everything here. The bird cage that he had. I don't know, bro. Did he just pumped these videos out? Minecraft? 
I, I didn't know this block exists. <laughs> I found it. I was like, whoa, this is actually a block. Yes. Just like pickaxe can be a block sometimes, this is also a block. It might be a SpongeBob one day. Items, and you'll see that there's a sponge block. I mean, that's very close. SpongeBob, Sponge Block. I mean, we got him. Sponge Block Square Pants. Mm, we got him, boys. Add. That is pretty creepy because, you know, technically dying would remind you of this, and he's wearing that skin. It's like, what the fuck is that? That is way too creepy to be like a normal thing that you just came up with. I can't make I make sense of this, like it's just kinda weird. What kind of deranged lunatic would like a skin like that, right? Pretty cool. The emerald armor actually gives you a lot of armor points. And yep. So links in the description. You can watch this. Yep. I, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I, I just sold you emerald armor. You can download it in the description, guys. Wow. I'm new to the game. You know, there's no real point to Minecraft. Just like there's not a real point to this mod. But anyways, go check it out. Check it out. Yeah. So what's cool about it if there's no point? But like it emerald. Like you can make it. What the fuck, Mr. Beast? What the fuck, man? That's pretty cool. So you can see, like, Mr. Beast is kind of like a visual anomaly, I would say. He just wants to give you something visually, and then you sort of download it. I don't know where I would go with that. But definitely the salesman tactic, the short video tactic, just, like, show something cool. Something cool must happen on the screen, otherwise it's, like, not interesting. And, uh, here you go. That's it. It's just, like, a cool thumbnail trick, basically. But then, uh, he slowly capitalizes. And, uh, like a Pac-Man with his face eats all the reputation. Uh, I mean, it's exhausting to me. You, you have to take this seriously because it's all, like, serious training. Minecraft has trained a lot of influencers in this way. And maybe me as well. Maybe it's just a fucking safe haven for a lot of people. Whatever was going on in 20 fucking 11. <laughs> as you can see, we're getting into a territory where most people have not ventured, even though there's like a million views and people have clicked around, but like they don't think there's value here, which, <laughs> surprise, surprise, you're not smart enough to find value in life. Yeah, it's, 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 he's still with the same pig skin, by the way. It's just fascinating to me. You can turn it on and off as the cool poop. This is a big milestone as well of like, okay, we're doing like cool things, but how about like cheating the game? Because, like, that's cool, right? And it's like, mmm, Mr. Mies, what are you doing? I have a, a rule set to me, like, I cannot cheat in any games. Like, it's pointless. Cheating is just for fucking losers. And if I see people cheating, it's like, I am not going to participate. I can't keep up, you know, with cheaters for obvious reasons. They're not actually there to have fun, they're to mess with other people desperately. So uh, this is why I just don't do it. And yes, that makes me without any friends, because, you know, everyone just fucking going towards the, the sunlight, the cheaters of the world, which would include, you know, monopolies. Monopoly is cheating, because you never fucking stop playing Monopoly, just like, I'm winning, but uh, guys, I'm winning. I win just the Monopoly, but you keep on playing. We have to reset the game, you know? That's how Monopoly actually works. Like, eventually you, you declare a winner and we reset. 
we start fresh. You know, everyone has a fair chance to win then again. And we reset again. But uh, if you, we have cheaters on top of the leaderboard, they will not allow you to reset the fucking Monopoly that easily. It's like they, they want to fight back. They don't realize what they're doing. They need to be taught a lesson. So this is deeper than you think. Like, I would never do that from the very beginning of my fucking existence. I would never cheat because it just seems so fucking stupid. But this guy turned that switch on in his brain. And it's a pretty, cool, pretty mod. cool mod. I like, I like it. it. So already, like, he's giving people unfair advantage and doesn't even feel threatened that he's making a wrong move here. How to get diamonds in Minecraft. That's not, that's not how you get diamonds in Minecraft, bro. That's how to cheat. Hmm. So you can tell a frustration happens in Mr. B's brain and he's like, Hey guys, this is very cool when you can like do this thing and money comes out. It's kind of like robbing a bank. So he's kind of like slowly getting lured in by YouTube of like, oh, people earning money here? Is there a way to like cheat money in the system? Mm -hmm. Can I get attention from on YouTube? Mm -hmm. I'm harder to die here. And this, this. Who? Harder die? What the fuck? He did change his Minecraft skin. Really epic castle like i've never seen a better castle than this in my by by now like people have built crazy things already there's tons of stuff in adventure craft alone tons of zelda castles so to speak and uh to fucking claim that is kind of fucking weird it is you very unique to just hey guys download this castle it's in the description that is very weird, I'm not gonna lie. Go check out the castle, and then he proceeds to checking out the castle. Why should I fucking download it? The sound just is gone. Cuts off. That is weird, man. Why is he selling a castle? <laughs> Also, the brain damage coming from dubstep. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's so cool. I can't even recreate the fucking noise. Fucking, even, I've never seen this, but this looks like dubstep to me. Just the waves alone of the most replayed parts. Fucking weird. <laughs> Honestly, still the best video we have seen so far. But then it stops. So now he's putting music and cutting himself off from the video. Oh my god, guys, look how cool it is. In a way, people are wired this way at the moment. They just want the cool things, the cool factor, and they just don't want really much commitment at all. Because they don't even understand commitment. They don't understand value and meaning, principles. What was the point, right? Just get money, and everything's gonna be fine, guys. So guess what Mr. B started doing? Starting contemplating money a lot. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, it's a very simple idea that like, okay, it's very difficult for me to come up with a meaning. Because you sort of have to come up with it yourself. It's your responsibility to figure out what's meaningful. So you start by finding cool things in your gaming space, in your childhood space. But then you have to, like, come out of that shell, unfortunately. And find what what people actually care about the most. 
Because that's what's going to make you popular. Haha. <laughs> of course. Oh, wow. Gold blocks, guys. Again, his origin story is like, oh, I just downloaded this mod and you can download it too, guys. Wow. I used my brain cells successfully. This is me off a little bit. Because I have to stare at it now. I mean, I, I have nothing better to do but to figure out the depths of that brain cell. See where it goes. Because the, there's usually some cool things you can find that way. What, am I going to just stare at gold blocks for four minutes? Yeah, sure. Why well, have been... Uploading because I don't want to upload Minecraft anymore. I am Minecraft didn't have enough cool things, and people then thought that my my contraption is cool enough anymore. I didn't get good comments. Yeah, Parahex on the Thunderbolt oh. heat. There's nothing more boring than watching Pokemon, so uh, you guys have to hit that subscribe button, or I will torture myself for like whatever these ten videos are. That this I don't know how people play Pokemon because it's the most boring thing in the entire universe ever created. Left. Yeah. It's supposed to be self-explanatory title. That is weird, bro. Holy shit. That is deep. Hey guys. <laughs> and he nerds out for six minutes, bro. Holy shit about this. Fucking Pokemon shit. Ah, <sighs> all right. This is very weird. It is online. It's against other players. It's quite fascinating to some extent. If you're a nerd, I'm not a nerd. So, I'm Speed EV Choice Scarf. So I'm always gonna go first. And because I see he doesn't have Ghost Pokemon. Oh, so he found the. He found a Chen Li of Pokemon. Oh my god, I'm just gonna close combat everyone for the second video. Let's see how long he close combats for. Oh my god, you don't have a ghost Pokemon. <laughs> what a loser. He doesn't he have, have ghost Pokemon. I can just sit in here and sweep his whole team because I just keep getting that Moxie boost. I mean, I'm already at 2.5 attack. You know, uh, if you don't want this to happen to you, uh, you should get a ghost type Pokemon because. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mr. Beast. Close to balance. Um, Heracross, my friends, is in his steam. I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's stay in. He can't really do anything. He does manage to get rid of my rid of my The amount of nerdiness coming out of his brain is like beyond my wildest dreams. I've never seen Mr. Beast so intensely nerding out about fucking whatever this is. Doesn't look like Pokemon to me. It looks like a fucking mashup of weird shit. Like, like, what is this? This is Double Owl. That looks like whatever the hands are, bro. Like, acorns for hands? I mean, I... Please, like... I don't want to look at this. Doing that much damage. Not only is nerding out, he's... Blocking likes and dislikes ratio and all that shit. Which My is weird. Button. Not blocking the comments. This is his last Pokemon and I get an easy... easy. Super well, he just now switched into Heracross and was like, Oh, I got easy. Easy final kill. He didn't even use Heracross. Which is, thanks, more content to watch, I guess. Otherwise, he would have just annihilated everyone, apparently. said, I'm going to go first and easily close combat him. So I close combat his Raikou and kill it very easily because he's not scarfed, and I am. And now he brings in his Harnch Crow, which is below 25% health, like I said earlier, so Stealth Rock is going to kill him. And now he brings in his Cresselia. And because I already had the Moxie boost, I just went ahead and close combat. I didn't feel like switching out. Um, just... I don't know. So now I'm, oh, down. I'm down. Wow. It killed it. Okay, I'm very tired and this is very boring. I'll leave it for tomorrow. Stop. 
Oh well, I think it's a really good UU team, and I win a majority of my battles. UU. And I have fifty-one percent win rate. Mm. Go on, guys, subscribers, viewers, whatever you are. Your biggest nightmare. And Aquatel did not kill him. He had one percent health left, which kind of sucks, cause you know one percent—that's like nothing. And then he hit me with the super. Yeah, yeah, one percent, guys. Commentary. That was one percent of the commentary left over. Against the pick. My one percent commentary would would be like, why the fuck can I kill the fucking Zap does, bro? It's one percent, really? Fucking bitch. Pretty lucky on his part, so he gets the double. One percent. <laughs> ball on my chandelier, and a lot of people don't. A lot of people haven't watched your previous video where you said the same exact thing, where a fire. Pokemon has grass type attack mm, of energy ball. Oh my god. I'm so educated. Am I nerdy now? Do you like me? And I'm gonna kill this clay doll easily with the close combat and I'm at it. Oh guess what's gonna happen now? Two times attack, and this is looking like I actually might be able to make a comeback. In comes the Togekiss. Who cares? Close combat its face, it's dead. I'm now at two point five attack, and here comes in this Nitto King. Uh, with 94% health, and it resists it. Oh, who cares? Close combat. Mm. And I managed to kill it. Ha <laughs> 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 nice that, that, that was a good game, and I'm surprised that I won, and I'm like, wow, thank you for the trophy. Here across. You did it again. Are you fucking... What is that? Who did that to my champ? What the fuck? Pokemon look like a giant three-year-old drew it. So... so a giant three-year-old. Why giant, though? Punch will be able to kill him. He lives with 1% HP. That really stinks. He's able He's to... Able... <laughs> Maybe, possibly Scarfed or something. I don't know. So Heracross is my last Pokemon. And I decided to close... Con and I decide to close... Punch... Punch... Clone, clone bat. Combat his Raikou straight to the face. He can't take it. He's gonna die. And I get my Moxie boost. And I'm at 1.5 attack. And in comes this Machamp. Easy close combat. Easy peasy, bro. Holy shit, man. That to the face. It's gonna kill him. And now I'm at two, two times attack. And in comes this full health Snorlax. And he is going to get pulverized by a super effective times two close combat. Oh my god, how did he do that? For watch. For watch. I swear Mr. Beast doesn't cheat in games. He's a normal human being, like everyone else. The team for the win. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. enjoy it. Yeah, I really enjoyed seeing the same thing, but now it's three-year-old drawing. Thank you very much. And on the flipped side, basically. I lost my Hariyama, which kind of stinks, because I wanted to 6 0 his team. Oh, yes, you did want it to do that with that one Pokemon that you play. Of course, with the same fucking team for, like, forever and ever. What happens? Why did he harp to derp so hard? Oh, because he's a cheater, so he sticks with one thing only. How do you have fun with this? I don't know, bro. Oh, wait, I do similar things sometimes. I mean, it is normal in, like, one week span, he's uploading, like, all right, almost two weeks, like, ten days. In ten days, he uploads, like, every video a day, right? Then, like I do with this team, because I've used it so much, but I'm going to try to get a new team. I, are you, actually? That's interesting. It looks like a new team. What's up, What's up? A pimp a He switches into Pimp. I don't know what he named that Pokemon. Pimp Mario, bro. It's Pimp Mario. Pokemon, and this is where it starts to get a little bit interesting. I don't think it gets interesting here. I think you just fucking stomp all the Pokemon with that one Pokemon that likes stomping Pokemon. Obviously, I can't lock into close combat because he has a ghost type Pokemon, and ghost type are immune to close combat so I go for but um, Megahorn and it does nothing to the Steelix so I'm gonna have to switch into my Bronzong and Bronzong can I'm just gonna close combat him because 
Because uh, that's what you do. I know he's not going to go into his ghost type, even though he should. And he goes for Earthquake, which I resist. And with the defen uh, defense drop, I thought it would do more, but it only did 17%, which is pretty good. So he goes into his Melodic. I'm kind of confused why. Um, why he didn't just go into his ghost type, because they're immune to it. So he used his Melodic as death fodder, I guess, and now he brings in this, so obviously I'm going to have to do anything to hurt this Kingdra, so I'm just going to use Hypnosis and Misses, and I already have one of his Pokemon asleep, and you, the rule... The rule. Oh no, what's going to happen? Are you going to be able to beat ghost Pokemon anyways? Plus you can only have one Pokemon asleep at a time, so... Anyways, I bring in my Heracross, and... He has a ghost type Pokemon, so I can't close combat, so I have to go for Stone Edge. And Stone Edge only has 80% accuracy, and it's a one off three now, because I killed that. And so I hit his pimp, and so now I'm at two times attack. I just killed two Pokemon. He still has two left. He brings out his Weavile, and I land three Stone Edges in a row, which is crazy, because it only has 80%. It's so crazy, guys. It only gets 80% of the time. It's so fucking crazy, guys. 80% accuracy. He's now down to his last Pokemon, Steelix. So I go first. I use Stone Edge, and it missed. But he used Gyro Ball. I live with one. Okay, that's pretty fucking weird. Percent HP. One percent. And I'm going to go first, and I miss another. Man, okay. That that's the coolest one, I guess. Stone Edge, and he manages he manages to kill me with the second gyro ball. That was a good game. GG, finally revenge of. It was something. So you went into random battle, and then he decided, oh, I actually am bored now. Yeah, that's that's what that's how he switches Pokemon team. You know, like he he definitely I I believe random battle means that. They just get random Pokemon to battle with. So he just he just left. And just like, ah, no more Pokemon for me. A little bit of Minecraft happens, and then Zomboid. And then brain damage. And then a little bit more Minecraft. And I have no idea what this game is, bro. Alright. Let's keep going. Final battle. Which is random. Because he lost interest at April 7, the next day, basically. But he, and I'm um, able to live a Dark Pulse, which was pretty, pretty. Ooh, low battery, so he's playing on a fucking laptop, bro. Oh no, this is the most fucking generic video ever, bro. Hey guys, download it in the description, and here's music. I can barely fucking see anything. The one needs to tell this kid to get a life, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I'm glad you're concerned, Mr. Beast. Download is in the description. He switched back to his Heracross, I mean the pig skin. Yeah, you can you can come up to Mr. Beast and offer a close combat. He should understand what that means. I will close combat your team! Is that where Technoblade was born? You know? <laughs> this is not dubstep, technically. It's techno, but hardcore techno. Wow, with a pig skin. Like, you can't make this up. This guy. This guy is halfway being Technoblade, but decided to be Mr. Beast instead. Holy shit, man. This is too bizarre, bro. Another one of these. So. I can't wait for these ones, because they look normal. It it looks pretty fun, so... Uh, yay, I crossed the finish line. Woohoo! Um, that's pretty much it, when you cross the... So there's this horse map, and like, you cross the finish line, that's pretty much it, guys. Download in the description of the thing that I just found, guys. Wow. It would be, like, very cool to, like, when the snapshot comes out and there's horses, but I don't actually have horses right now, so... But you can still download this, like, right? What the f... What is the point of his videos? He's not even having fun, bro, in these. What? The only time he tried to have fun, have fun in Minecraft was the very first video. 
And it felt like he was cheating from the very fucking beginning of his existence without a health bar. What the fuck? Is he scared of everything? Water plus mod. And basically you get these three types of... That's what I'm talking about. Grenades. Throw them. But do you have mobs to throw them at, bro? Or did you fuck that up again? Is the modern... modern. Bro, he's probably scared of, like, destroying mobs because, like, he don't, don't want to offend anyone. Here. Bro, I'm offended. That pig just disappeared. You have to repay for that pig. Yep, so... so he didn't even comment on it, as if, like, that pig never existed. For this mod, hope you enjoyed. And I had fun messing around with this mod. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You definitely had fun. One time. That one time you had fun. Holy shit, throwing some grenades because you have to show them to other people. Wow. I suck at making thumbnails. Yes. Yes, you do. So these ones are gonna be the hardest to watch because they're fucking long, bro. But we obviously skipping the fucking Black Ops nonsense. This Minecraft Let's Play. Regular right here. Bro doesn't know how to play Diablo. You just smash everything. Easy and level up. Wow, next level manipulation. I am observing an narcissist too. But I also talk to one. You know. More than I thought about. You must understand, like, this is the first actual gameplay and he decided to do survival mr beast style very much tomorrow is march 4th and for those who don't know my hunger strike either ends or something terrible happens there's a 80 percent chance to succeed you know, and that's one of those things the pokemon battle Anyways, uh, I watched the first episode, but I'm not gonna comment until uh, I have enough. What's up, guys? It seems like a very generic game, like you're just surviving. Which is like, why should I care? But he did made four episodes, so let's see if I should care. Like, he's running around, killing zombies, surviving, even though he's saying, like, oh, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't just run around. But, like, fuck it, you did it. Boy, make it old. Yeah, like, you gotta remember, this is unsuspectingly the biggest person on YouTube right now. And he was uploading this shit. Pretty much every day, whenever he decided to. Whenever he had a good idea. Um, you can do whatever you want, I believe. I don't think the, the pattern... Is uh, successful in a way. But, uh, that it stands out from other people. I think the formula for success always changes. I don't think people want to do the same thing. They need to be like liberated. And uh, get superpowers. Enlightened. I'm still, you know, improving... Some things about myself, but like at some point I gotta like smash. Cause like yeah, you can you can fill up the world with memes. You can fill up the world with self esteem for YouTubers, but there's still pieces missing. Of like, uh, how does one do this and that, right? You gain maximum self-esteem if you act like Mr. Beast, where you just go straight to the point, and you and you completely blanked out of like, what do I do if I am not in the point? Where we're not making points. Then you just fill in with noise, with like friends running around and seeing things. Like Mr. Beast seems like very quiet person in general, barely able to actually comment on anything. And this is a very bizarre moment where he has to comment on everything all the time because he's let's playing. It? Yeah, I think PewDiePie was one of those let's play real life moments. 
but real life in my fucking room or a real internet let's let's play internet let's go across the internet that is intoxicating to me what mr beast is doing is going outside and doing weird shit and interacting with people that is completely different yet he started as a nerd and now he's uh, going into survival mode I still don't understand the fucking Pokemon thing, to be honest. I, I don't get it. Like, it's so bizarre to me. Like, it's so not Mr. B's brand. I don't get it. It's one last one. Maybe it's uh, the function of how he treats his friends. How, how he bonds with his friends of, like, I will have the same friends over and over again. And uh, that last one is gonna... You know, close combat to everyone else. <laughs> if I fail, there's still gonna be the last one, the last friend, like Chandler, and uh, he's gonna fucking defeat everyone. The house. The house. And using that sort of mentality, Project Zomboid is actually just a regular progression system. So he uh, learns to be friendly in a way, or how to manipulate friends to get maximum amount of attack and defense rating or whatever and can be better than other people or whatever but here uh, something happens when you are an american the zombie apocalypse happens anytime you become popular that's technically zombie apocalypse all the time for you every time you wake up it's like oh it's zombie apocalypse again if you, if you're overly popular especially so, uh, yeah, cool. Because everyone wants things from you. Everyone wants to interact with you. Everyone's like pointing a finger at you or wanting pictures or... Uh, you get the idea. And and then Sniper Wolf wants to dox you, bro. Like, they just want to do that. Oh, crap. We, we are not going that way. Perfectly. Perfectly. They found an influencer up there. Okay, he triggers alarm system, but... Manages to escape the zombies, it seems. Can head on up. After looting the house. Over here. I uh, walked out of my house and I saw a horde and I pretty much spent like 10 minutes just killing zombies. So I decided to edit that part out. Man, Mr. Beast is a little bit of a, a bitch. You know, like... Him killing zombies for 10 minutes, yes, I don't want to see that. But one minute, you gotta, you gotta add... Or technically, it could be 10 minutes of Mr. Beast fighting zombies, a special fucking video. Safe house that's right up this road right here. But, um, I had a cut because pretty much all I did was kill a bunch of zombies. And no one wants to really watch that, so... so... Yeah, of course. Of course. I've, I've... It's too offensive, after all. <laughs> so instead, we're gonna look at him running around and looking for an axe. Wow. You, well thought out, Mr. Beast. It's like, you know, uh, he makes hide and seek video and someone chases with a machete for like 10 minutes and it's like, oh, I have to cut this wood, cut this part out because like no one wants to see this, you know, this random thing that was not planned is happening right now, so. Did I get bitten? I'm slightly damaged, but I didn't get bitten. Oh, that was really, what's this? Yeah, he opens the wrong door. And finds a bunch of zombies. Good, because this is close combat, so try to take them out one by one if possible. Right. And then he smashes two of them at the same time. Yeah, it's like... There's already a horde here for some reason. He says it's a, an alarm thing. I guess? I don't remember there being an alarm, but whatever. Chip, chip. I think you can already tell this is not going to be just one part episode we have to dig quite a lot of stuff and maybe pass the pewdiepie thing this is very weird we saw this thumbnail different oh it's an update oh there are also depths where like only 50 thousand people looked into these videos that is fascinating 
We're already watching 100k licked videos. And I'm, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's fine. Yeah, the best, the craziest thing you can do to your channel is promote your videos that you've already created. Videos from the past, whatever. All right. Whatever you're proud of on your channel, like people are going to binge watch. Very likely you're going to trigger that button that, oh, I should binge his content, actually. That's cool. Why make new videos when you can just promote the old ones? But that makes it a quite a puzzling thing to do, right? Like, what kind of people are capable of promoting old videos is the question. Me, because I'm a historian in a way. Yeah. And a psychologist. Gotta be careful when I walk. Holy shenanigans. Ah. So that's the influencer, the holy shenanigans in there. <laughs> There's a cube of zombies, bro. <laughs> what is going on, though? Shit. You want to. Hey, you guys, you want to get some followers? Hmm? The body status is okay. Alright, there we go. I need that axe. I really need to just go to the city and find a warehouse. There's a cityscape? Hmm? Empty. I hate looting games. I hate. Eventually, I hate Minecraft. When you just set up one base and you can't move around very much because all the items are in one fucking place. And it is pretty boring. I don't know what this means, but like. You just kind of. Eventually, the same thing over and over again. Like, survival games are kind of fucking weird like that. Not uneventful, in a way. That's why I like puzzle games and numbers. That's eventful. Me getting one point right now? I'll take that. Thank you very much. Mr. Beast, stop taking points. I want to event. Yep, yeah, we got him. Much better than whatever the fuck he's doing. Can't okay. Technically, the most powerful thing you can do in survival games is set up a new base in a new location and keep setting up small bases, basically. That's kind of cool. That's the thing uh, I would like to do. Here's Even in Minecraft, you have the overworld base, and then you go into the caves, you go into Nether, technically can build a base there. A sense of direction, I remember where I'm at. So let's try to sneak past these zombies over here. We don't want to pick up too many more. Hopefully no one's about to bite me. This house might even block us from the guys that were chasing us. So, Sam, so many zombies. It's not ideal that you walk in a bunch of trees when you have zombies chasing you. I think, you know, I'm looking around, I'm looking around. I think we actually lost them. I don't want to drag any more zombies to our safe house, which I believe is right up this road. So let's see, let's see. There's the safe house. It looks like 10 zombies, opposed to like 70. That's pretty good. I guess the alarm from earlier must have attracted the other guys and a few remain so what alarm from this distance what the fuck what, what? his house is being attacked by zombies it seems this what why are all the zombies running this direction i just saw like 50 running across the street over there um okay. i'm gonna hope, I'm gonna we hope are we are all right maybe his uh secret base is overrun by zombies we'll see stranded in an alleyway or anything there's just so many zombies around, I can't walk anywhere without them seeing me. It's over here. Oh, quick. Main road. Cut. Fucking music has stacked up to fucking insanity. Alright. This is where we're gonna finish the episode. Maybe we can find a way around. Yeah, all around. And it just abruptly stops. Very dynamic, I guess. Alright. Guys. We've been bitten. Bit and I skipped that awesome part of being bitten, of course. Guys, we've been bitten. We're slowly bleeding to death. I don't have a bandage, but zombification is inevitable. Wow, big words right there. But, but yeah, that's the, that's the future for Mr. Beast. I think I'm gonna start in. But after you get bitten, you just change to a different game, of course. Left off, so yeah, he died. Survived six days. And I killed 22 zombies. So I'm pretty sure we can keep the world, and I'll just make a new character and continue playing on the world. Thank you for continuing to play on this world. See you guys next time.